Neil Clark. I'm the Head of Studies for Life Sciences here at Yale and US. So a lot of my teaching at Yale and US is in the common curriculum, scientific inquiry and quantitative reasoning. The science at Yale and US is partly in the classroom, partly in laboratories, partly in the field, depending on the modules or courses that we're talking about. So we strongly encourage science students to get into the lab or into the field early in their studies. Uh, there is funding for students to work in laboratories or in the field in their first summers. Yeah, so I actually think that a small liberal arts college is an excellent place to study science. Uh, we have small classrooms uh, which really encourage students to get involved in science discussions rather than just being the, the recipient of lecture information. It's easier for students to get access to faculty and get access to the research early. Hi, my name is Jeffrey. Uh, I'm a junior at Yale and US and my major is in the mathematical, computational, and statistical sciences. Some of the cooler modules that I've taken at Yale and US have been uh, Monte Carlo simulations in statistics and science, and um, that's really cool because it really draws from physics, biology, um, economics to inform uh, simulation theory. I'm also going to be taking uh, computer vision, um, and that's something that's, that's, that's really interesting and involves you know, computers, um, using different algorithms and statistical methods um, to predict what an object um, is. Over the summer, I took part in a data ana analytics internship in New York at a data analytics economics firm. On top of that, I've also been working for Data Driven Yale, which is an environmental policy think tank. I've also been working for the Yale School of Public Health as a data visualization specialist. I've also been working at uh, the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, where I basically employ machine learning methods to help predict weather patterns and haze patterns in Singapore. Hello, I'm Chan Kiat Hua. I'm Assistant Professor of Science in the Science Division. So last year I taught uh, Foundations of Science and uh, this year I've taught Scientific Inquiry too. And in addition to these uh, common curriculum classes, I've also taught the physical sciences major classes including physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic metallic chemistry. The students uh, have a lot of opportunities to participate in the faculty's research. So uh, the idea is that uh, the students are challenged you know, with this uh, research question that is uh, very new to them but uh, it is certainly not beyond them and in addition to that uh, there are also summer research opportuni uh, opportunities in which the students can come to the research lab to actually uh, work on these uh, research projects uh, more intensively. Uh, we certainly have a lot of uh, research grade e equipment so we would like to expose the students uh, to the use of uh, these instruments as early as possible so that they actually can appreciate and know uh, what is uh, going on in actual research. I think the, uh, the greatest strength of uh, studying science in the liberal arts and science uh, college at Yale and US is that uh, what we focus on really is uh, not so much on the content itself but really on how to actually think about stuff and even more importantly I feel is uh, to ask the right questions of uh, whatever you do. This really is uh, the greatest value that a liberal arts uh, and science education in your and US can confer upon you.